happen if we took on Extreme Rodeo? It's a rodeo! Became human animal snacks. <laughs> and try to pop the world's biggest pimple? Oh! oh Time to saddle up. is crazy and cool at the same time. He thinks of stuff you'd never really come up with. Victorious! I describe Jackson as funny, wild, and totally nuts. CJ is the ultimate in cool. He pushes everything to its limit, whereas I just want to see stuff explode. to be a cowboy. I'm all about that rodeo action. I can rodeo any beast that moves. You think so? What if you try to rodeo a giant slimy, slippery slug? Yeehaw! Dude, what would happen if we tried to rodeo a giant slug? <laughs> yeah, here, boy. Yeah, little Howard, little... Jackson, here's what's about to happen. You're gonna get on top of that slimy, slithery, sassafras in a slug right there, and you're gonna hold on for dear life and try and hold on for 30 seconds. While Ali and I man the controls, and we're gonna be rattle dazzling it up, trying to buck you off the slug. You gotta stay on for 30 seconds. Can you do it? For 30 seconds? Easy peasy, southern wheezy. I'm rooting for Jackson, but that mechanical slug weighs 600 pounds, is six foot long, and moves at 30 miles per hour. And worst of all, it's super slimy. It's a slug. Guys, really, really slimy. That's what a real slug is. He's a slug. Do you guys add any extra slime? Oh, let the rodeo begin. Hey, better mount that slug. Ah! Oh, boy, that is moist. We're gonna be spinning this slug left and right in all kinds of directions. This rodeo may prove to be impossible for even Cowboy Jackson. It's on. Let's do it! Let's go! Yeah, you saw that move right there? How you like them apples? So far, so good. 10 seconds and Jackson is still holding on. But now, me and Ollie are about to crank it up. Whoa, whoa, you're real slippery. Hey, slow down, partner. Whoa! <laughs> 10 more seconds and Cowboy Jackson masters the slug rodeo. Yeehaw! All right. Whoa! Five, four, hold on. Rodeo to slug. So All for right. this here, first and probably only slug rodeo, I crown the king of this, Jackson! Yeah. I got something in mind to rodeo. What? what? Okay, it's slightly overweight, but fast, slippery, and really messy. Oink! Oh, I got it! A pig! Yeah! Dude, what would happen if we tried to rodeo a giant pig? To attempt the impossible, we're gonna try the first ever two-man rodeo. Two dudes, one wild beast, and what's an impossible beast to rodeo? A giant, muddy, messy pig. I'm Cole, C-O-A-L. Oh, nice to meet you, I'm Clint. Oh, Clint, great to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah, what's your name? I'm Brady. 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 Why, why Brady? See this, this is Brady's right here. Hence, a Brady. We are in a whole bunch of mud right now. Specifically, a 100-foot diameter mud pit that's 10 inches deep made with 4,000 gallons of water. What we're gonna do here is tie this pig up to this rodeo tow boat. I'm gonna pull you guys at warp speed through this mud while the pig you're on slides, shimmies, and rolls like wild. So what you guys are gonna do is try to stay on this here pig for 15 seconds in this pit of mud, and you get two tries to do it. All right. So let's do this aboard the pit. Yeah! It's a rodeo. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, here we go. Lean to your cowboy left. Yeah. Cowboy down. <laughs> Whoa, 
We totally underestimated that pig. Topped the order onto, and he was going fast. But you know what? We're gonna get back on that saddle. All right, hop back on, ladies. This is the rodeo. There ain't no fuzz or duds in around here. This is your last chance. Reset the clock. Start it back up. Yeah, boy. This is epic. There we go. Coming up, we hit the beach for a bite. Things get grisly at the zoo. And a giant pimple takes a fall. Oh boy! Oh, are you kidding me? We're trying the first ever two man rodeo on a giant pig. Stay on for 15 seconds and we make rodeo history. Yeehaw! Just at the last second. But we did it! Two man pig rodeo. Woo! We did it, Brady! Dude, what would happen if we tried to rodeo a giant slug? Oh! Tame slug. And, dude, what would happen if we tried to rodeo a giant pig? Ah! A muddy victory. Dudes, how awesome is it to be at the top of the food chain? Ollie, what are you talking about? Hear me out. We're like top dog in the animal kingdom. We could eat anything we want. But imagine if we fell down the ranks on the food chain. Whoa, I'm not liking this. How low? Well, you can't go much lower than being someone else's food. Dude, that's not low on the chain. That's completely off the chain. We go from eating snacks to being snacks. We would be the pizza. Dude, how about this? What would happen if we became animal snacks? We'd be delicious. <laughs> to become animal snacks, we've enlisted the best snack eater of all, Chucky the Black Lab. Now, everybody knows that a dog's two favorite things to eat are leftovers and dog food. <laughs> to see if we can become dog snacks, we're going to lather Jackson in leftovers and Ollie in dog food to see who Chucky goes to. Dude, what would happen if we became Dog snacks. For Jackson and Ollie to entice Chucky to chase them down, they have to be completely slathered in food, which is good for Chucky and, well, funny for me. But animals can be dangerous. Don't ever try to feed one in the wild or at the zoo. At this point, both of you have obviously fully embodied what it means to become a dog's favorite snack. So, Jackson, why do you think you're gonna win with your leftover suit? Dogs are used to dog food. They want to mix it up. They're no different than humans, except they have paws and tails and whiskers. Listen, human food is meant for humans, and dog food has been engineered by dog chefs to make the most gourmet, satisfying taste. So, of course, a dog would pick the dog food. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, on the count of animal snack, you will run in a V-like formation. After about 10 or 15 feet or so, I'm gonna let Chucky go, and he will chase whichever animal snack he desires. Are we ready? <laughs> Chucky, are you ready? <laughs> He's ready. All right, animal snack! Chucky caught a whiff of my dog food suit and made the wise decision to chase me. Chucky! Oh, wait, no, he's going for the leftovers. Chucky! 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 Chucky's running after me now. You can't go wrong with real food, even if they are leftovers. Chucky! 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 Oh! Chucky's so smart. Why would he want all these gross canned food when he can eat my tasty leftovers? Yeah, I am delicious! If we're trying to drop down the food chain and become animal snacks, 
We gotta take it to the next level. Yeah, dude, we gotta take on something totally unpredictable and see if we can't get it to feast on us. Dude, a gopher! A yak! <laughs> what about seagulls? Dude, you're twisted. And I love it! Dude, what if we tried to become human bird feed? <laughs> We're rocking our bird watching gear to observe the most elusive, the most creative, the most, what's the word I'm looking for? Elusive. Elusive birds known to man to see how they react when a dude tries to become a bird snack. Specifically, a tasty Ali sandwich. I'm Ali, the sandwich man. Come on. Dude, what would happen if Ali tried to become bird feed? Try to tempt the birds to feast on Ali, we turn him into a human sandwich made of all kinds of bread. Slice, wheat, rye, even classic white. We even put bread on his safety helmet. And finally, we hook them up with a cooler full of snacks. And for this to be successful, Ali needs to be engulfed in birds. Not like a peck or two, like a ton of birds. And they need to eat like they've never eaten before. I got this. I'm just gonna lay out, catch some rays, get a little toasty, and watch the birds enjoy my tasty shell. Zooming in. I'm getting hungry just watching Ollie, but birds are pretty smart. I'm not sure if they'll be enticed by the Ollie sandwich. Hey, birds, you hungry? Come on, guys, I'm all bread. What is that? What is that? Oh, oh. The birds are coming in for a closer look. There's definitely bird buzz, but they won't commit to the meal. Come on, birds! Since when do birds not like bread? Time to dip into the cooler for a new, even tastier snack. Dude, look at that. They broke out the potato chips. Ah, the classic pork chips on the face technique. Genius. Mmm, potato chips. Oh, here comes a bird. It's on. What? One pick and that's it? Hey, where's the feeding? Where's the frenzy? So far, all that's been eaten is half a chip. Ali, time to break out the sardine sandwich. Hmm, sardines are like the caviar of the bird world. Really? Nothing? I thought birds love sardines. We tried our best to be bird snacks, but the birds just weren't biting. We failed. Wait a minute, something's happening. The sandwich is falling apart. It's the sardines! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's working! They're eating the chips, the sardines, Ollie's sandwich suit. The sardines were the key. Ollie, you did it! You became bird feed! Yes! That bird frenzy was intense. Those birds did not want to eat that bread, and the chips barely piqued their interest. But when that sardine sandwich dropped, it was on. They ate everything. Look, all of these bad boys right here got pecked at. If you hadn't brought the sardines, those birds wouldn't have even eaten half of the food. Well, let's see the back. I think I just got a frontal. Yeah, yeah, yeah complete going front on back. Being dude snacks is cool and kind of flattering, but what would happen if we were dude snacks for a really big animal? We could feed a whale. Too big, it would just swallow us. Oh, yeah. But I got it, a bear. They're super big, they love snacks, and they're pretty hardcore. Dude, now that's a beast with some power. <laughs> to try and become bear bait, we've enlisted Amos the bear. He's eight feet tall and weighs 700 pounds. To prove we can become his snacks, we're gonna lure him back into his den using his favorite snacks granola, marshmallows, and strawberry cookies. And, oh yeah, us. Dude, what would happen if we tried to become bear bait? 
To lead Amos with our tasty deliciousness, the lab dudes hooked us up with a safety snack cage. They also told us you shouldn't make noise around the bear, especially when he's eating. So we're gonna have to whisper. Oh, Amos, Amos, Amos. First up, sweet and crunchy. Granola and dried apricots. Amos, quick, on, Amos. give me some granola. This is Amos. Here. He's in. Yes! We just fed a bear. Now Amos knows we're his source for snacks. Let's turn up the level of sweetness and lure him with some tasty marshmallows. I don't want to upset him. This is really romantic, and I'm glad that we could share this experience. Guys, keep going. Keep going. We're almost there. We're almost to the bear den. This is easier than we thought. We're going into your den. Going into, going your, into den. your den. Come on, Amos. Aww. Uh oh. This is not the right den. Where's the sign? It, oh. Right there. Sorry. <laughs> Two tips for you. Don't lead a bear to the wrong den, and don't abruptly stop feeding a bear after you've been plowing him with snacks. Oh. It's a bear. We're trying to lure Amos the bear back into his den with tasty snacks. The snacks stop coming, and Amos is getting cranky. <laughs> That's stuff, that's stuff, that's stuff. How do you calm down a hungry beast? Cookies! Right here. Close, close, close. He's digging the cookie. Now to get Amos back to his den. All right, let's go. Let's get Amos right. to his den. There you go. That's for you. Those yeah. are marshmallows. Oh, there's still more. If you want, once you get back to your den, we can roast them and make s'mores. We're into the home stretch. Just need to get Amos into his den and into his cave. <laughs> Dude, he's, he's going in. He's no. going. Oh, oh, no. he's backing up. He's backing no, up. don't back out. Whoa, dude, what's with the reverse? Come on, Amos, get in the den. Now let's throw the strawberry cookies into the cave. There's no way he'll be able to resist those. Oh, oh, oh. he might step foot. He might step foot. Maybe. He's going in. Come on. Oh, you want to go in your den? He's definitely he's going. going. Oh. He's going. He's going. He's going. Come on. Oh. Yes. So that's it. We became the ultimate snack. We use granola, apricots, marshmallows, and finally cookies. That's how you lure Bear into his cave. Dude, he liked the cookies. He's just like me. Except he's like 700 pounds and really furry. Dude, what would happen if we became dog snacks? Chuck! Chuck! Leftovers win. Dude, what would happen if Ollie tried to become bird feed? Bird swarm. And dude, what would happen if we tried to become bear bait? Not your average bear. Hey dudes, this is Blair. My older cousins are always trying to pop pimples and big sits off their faces, which is kind of gross, but this made me think. What would happen if you guys tried to pop a gigantic zit? Would it even pop? Thanks, dudes. This is a big question. Yes, it is, and all three of us are gonna figure it out by lifting a giant zit into the air. And then crash it into the ground. Dude, that's genius! We're here at an airstrip to test if we can make a giant zit pop from 500 feet. And how do you test something from the ultimate height? Well, we need one of these. A helicopter! And you need an eight-foot, super swollen mega zit. Dude, what would happen if we tried to pop a giant zit? Dude, 500 feet is really hot. Yeah. What do you guys think is gonna happen? I think it's just gonna explode. It's gonna land, explode, and we're gonna have zit juice all over the place. I agree, it's totally gonna pop open. Cause you know, you got the propellers giving a downward spiral of wind and it will smash into the earth and like any good zit, pop open. Dude, this zit is just too epic. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be coming down so hard that it's just gonna crater into the ground, but not pop. Let's go, CJ. Let's go. Let's do this. 
Raindrop was falling from the sky. Dude, I was right. The zit completely exploded on impact. It sent zit juice and zit juice vapors everywhere. It was nasty, but it was awesome. I told you it was gonna pop. Look how big the hole is. There's zit juice everywhere. Dude, it was like. Oh. <laughs> Dude, what would happen if we tried to pop a giant zit? Pop goes the pimple. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! So today we learned that extreme rodeo is totally the way to go. That dropping down the food chain can be wild. And that popping a giant pimple takes a big drop. Go! 